Lesson 19, Function Templates. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new console project and add a new file named main.cpp to it, as we did in Lesson 1. We have already introduced the concept of function overloading. Recall that with function overloading we use the same function name for multiple functions, and the function that is called depends on the argument type. Looking at the definitions of these two functions, we see that the only difference between them is the type of the arguments that are passed in. It would be convenient in a situation like this to write the code once and have it available for any data type. Function templates give us this functionality. Here we show a function template for the max function which takes a data type parameter. In the main function, we call the function first with int parameters and then with double parameters. During compilation, two functions are created and called according to the data type that is passed in. Executing the program gives the predicted result. Another useful function template is the swap function. In this function, we pass in two variables by reference. Internally, we swap their values. Before and after we call this function, we output the values to show that they have been swapped. In addition to data type parameters, template function parameters can be constants of some type. This function prints the entries from an array. Here we use an int parameter to define the size of the array. Note that when calling this function, we need to specify the template parameters because the array size cannot be automatically determined. The function is called with integer parameters 4 and 2. Executing the program, we see that it prints all four entries of the array the first time, and only the first two entries the second time. For our last example, we create a template function specialization. Oftentimes we will have a function which can be written the same way for most data types, but must be specialized for a few exceptions. In these cases, we will write a general function template to be used as our default for all data types, and we will write specialized functions for each data type which doesn't fit the general method. Here we give an impractical but illustrative example of a function template specialization. The first function is the default function template, and the second function is a version that is specialized to int arguments. In the main function, we call the function print type with int, double, and char arguments respectively. Executing the program, we see that using the int argument calls the specialized function. There are a few ways to write the syntax for a function template specialization. The difference lies in what comes after the function name. In this example, we use the int type enclosed with the less than and greater than signs. However, this variant and this variant are also acceptable. This concludes the lesson.